Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Late last night, just before midnight, there was two earthquakes off of Ferndale, California, a magnitude 5.5 and a 4.7, both at a depth of about 10 kilometers. As you know, any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. According to USGS, five people reported feeling the first earthquake, which was a 4.7. That occurred at 11.56 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And then, two minutes after midnight, there was a magnitude 5.5, about the same depth, and 34 people reported feeling it. Both of these earthquakes, the 5.5 and the 4.7, happened along the Mendocino Triple Junction or in the Gorda Basin, the Gorda Plate. According to USGS, California has on average about five earthquakes every year, a magnitude five or greater. In March of last year, there was a 5.8 along the Mendocino Triple Junction and on Let's see, October 28th of last year, there was a 5.2 in this location. More recently, in March or on March the 18th, there was a 5.2 there at the junction of uh, Mendocino, Triple Junction. Still early. I'm working on my first cup of coffee. So please excuse me if I sound uh, kind of stuffy and muddled in my uh, speech. Most of the people that reported feeling the 5.5 were in Eureka. The magnitude 4.7, they do not show on here any of the felt reports, even though there was five people that claimed they felt it. Now, interestingly, on the tsunami warning uh, webpage, they do have two. The first one, uh, just after midnight, you can see, or just before midnight at 7 o'clock. And then the other one, uh, 707, both of them, 180 miles west of Eureka, California. Both of them were stating that there was no tsunami warning whatsoever. There you can see it. Now for the magnitude 5.5 on the same webpage, they have aftershocks. Be ready for more earthquakes, it says. Our model of expected number of odd and future earthquakes and let's see what they got more earthquakes than usual called aftershocks will continue to occur near the main shock when there are more earthquakes the chance of a large earthquake is greater which means that the chance of damage is great the USGS advises everyone to be aware of the possibility of aftershocks especially when in or around vulnerable structures such as unreinforced masonry buildings, this earthquake could be part of a sequence. An earthquake sequence may have larger and potentially damaging earthquakes in the future. So remember to drop, cover, and hold on. Here's the location of those earthquakes. And those of you that live along the coast know that not just drop and cover, but you need to have a plan in case there is a large earthquake and a tsunami and evacuation routes to higher uh, ground but yeah if there is a large earthquake you're going to have a lot of problems um, getting out because of debris and upheavals and um, ground subsidence etc so what are your thoughts did you feel this earthquake if so please put it down below please stay safe have a plan and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye